Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be taking a look at a pair of news stories. The first is concerning the GTX 1180 and its potential specs, which have been posted online and everyone's kind of been freaking out about it. It's being shared everywhere, but I'm going to try to explain to you why you should not trust these specifications that have been posted up as of right now, and also we've got some information on when we can expect to see some 4K 144Hz HDR monitors from companies like Asus and Acer. But first I want to let you know that today's video is being brought to you by the Joker Productions Spreadshirt Shop, where you can pick yourself up a t-shirt or a coffee mug to help support the channel, like the NVIDIA GIMP Works shirt, Make AMD Great Again, or possibly the JP Circuit logo on a shirt, or a coffee mug, if that's more of your flavor. But Getting back into the news, today we're going to be starting off with the GTX 1180. Now, this whole news story kicked off because of Tech Power Up and their GPU database. Now, I want to start off by saying that I love the GPU database over there. Anytime I need to reference back to specs on a graphics card, whether it's clock speeds, CUDA core count, or release date, original pricing information, whatever, it'll usually be on the GPU database because I can usually just go in and type in something like, GTX 580 GPU database into Google and it'll instantly bring me to that page and I can get all the information that I need about the card. It's a great database for that. They also do them for CPUs as well. However, they do have a tendency to post up specs for cards well before release or before we even have solid specs that have ever been released by the company, which kind of creates some misinformation out there in the market because these are simply placeholder pages, which they only denote at the very bottom in small text. And before that, you've got all this information, which is kind of shown off as fact. So if we look over here on the Tech Power Up database, you can see they have the GTX 1180 listed here, and they have all of the specs posted along with it, which to the non-suspecting person might seem like this is legitimate information and solid information, when in fact, it's just based on whatever the latest speculation is right now. And they explain this stuff in a way that makes it sound 100% legitimate. As you can see here in this first line, they say the GeForce GTX 1180 is a graphics card by NVIDIA that is not released yet, built on the 12 nanometer process and based on the GV104 graphics processor. The card supports DirectX 12. It features 3,584 shading units, 224 texture mapping units, and 64 ROPs. Now, they say that in a, in a way that it makes it seem factual. They say the card supports, not it may support. They say it does. And they also say it features 3,584 3584 shading units, not that it might possibly, or that's what we are expecting it to. They put this information up there as 100% fact, and it's just not at this point in time. Until NVIDIA releases the confirmed specs or we see some benchmarks actually popping up online with these cards being tested where we can verify it, then this information is false and it should not be trusted right now. And I just wish Tech Power Up would do a little bit more to make it obvious because all you can find out is if you come to the bottom under the card notes, it says that this is a placeholder page. Details will be added as they become available, but it doesn't still doesn't specify as to whether or not these this information here is accurate and should be taken as it is. So yeah, I just really wish they would do a better job of this because otherwise the databases that they run are a great source of information and knowledge. But when you're dealing with pre-release product, I feel like these specifications should be held back until we have the actual ones or at the very least make it quite evident that this is not factual info. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys that maybe have seen these specs and are super excited. And maybe these will be the real specs. We just don't know yet. We have no idea if these are the actual specs of what the GTX 1180 will be, and neither does Tech Power Up or anyone at this time other than NVIDIA and possibly even its board partners, but even they might not even know the exact specs yet on these cards. The next story I wanted to talk about is the upcoming 144Hz G-Sync HDR monitors from companies like Asus and Acer. Now, we've talked about these before and the potential pricing on these monitors because they were listed over in the EU for pre-order. And if you do the conversion, we're looking at around $2,500 to $3,000. Um, that's just based on the EU conversion to the US, but they have different things with taxes already being pre-applied and things along those lines. And they could just be costing more over there. So we really don't know the full price yet, but based on other HDR monitors, real HDR monitors, these things are not going to be cheap. We're probably looking at around two grand plus as these are 
true HDR monitors. But Gordon over at PC World got an advanced look at these probably over the weekend or so. This video was just published yesterday where he took a look at the X27 side by side with the XB271HK next to it, which I reviewed on the channel. It's a fantastic 4K 60 Hertz IPS monitor. But as he says in this video, compared to the X27, it is apples and oranges. And I couldn't agree more because I have looked at these monitors side by side in the past myself. I've been, to, I was at an Acer event last year and I got a chance to look at these side by side and the X27 is just way better looking and even in this video which is not hdr you can kind of see it in some of the lighting and the shadows and the contrast ratio and stuff like that the panel overall is just way better now of course because this is not an hdr video you're not getting the full effect but you can definitely see it in terms of the contrast ratio and the brightness as the x27 is pushing 1000 nits which is what you need to have a true hdr monitor we recently looked at that benq monitor which was around 300 nits that's kind of like a it's like a fake HDR. I hate to call it fake HDR, but that's pretty much what it is. You need to have at least 1,000 nits, and you need to be pushing more than 10-pit colors through a panel for it to be true HDR, and that is what companies like Acer and Asus are going to be doing now, and as Gordon says in this video, these are expected to be releasing in as soon as the next two weeks. So it looks like these monitors are right around the corner. So if you've been waiting for 4K, 144 hertz, HDR, all of that, bundled into a monitor it doesn't look like we have that much longer to go i hope that you've been saving up your money though because these are expecting to be quite pricey and hopefully i should have an x27 in here to test on the channel i'm not sure exactly when yet but uh i'm going to an acer event actually at the end of the month which i'm looking forward to i go to it i've gone to them for the past few years now and it's always a good time so definitely looking forward to that but I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. As always, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the upcoming 144 hertz monitors, the GTX 1180 specs, and how you think Tech Power Up can do a better job of conveying that the information is not 100% accurate yet. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts as always. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and put a like on the video. And if you've been here for a while, you can always hit the notification bell so you can never miss a moment of content here on the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Tara.